Welcome to Tank Tuesday, folks. This is a look at our 300 gallon aquarium where we have pet bass and bluegills. This is a look at Bonnie here on the bottom and our big bluegill sheriff. We also have some crawfish in the tank down there, but just in case you've missed our video on Sunday, Liz and I are excited to announce that we're gonna be adding a new member to the Bama Bass family. We put out a gender reveal video on Sunday, and if you're interested in seeing that, I've put a link to it down in the description below. But let's move on to what we're here to video today and that is going to be a night feeding video so a lot of you guys have been requesting this for a while and i do have a camera with night vision but sometimes it doesn't really pick up the feeding good or if there's any reflections so i got a better idea a couple weeks ago my friend corey and i were out fishing night fishing and we put a little green glowing light in off the end of the pier and we ended up catching our biggest fish of the night right near that light so we're thinking about dropping a little green glowing light in here cutting all the rest of the lights off in the aquarium letting it sit for about an hour and then we end up dropping some minnows in we'll get an inside look at how these fish interact with bait fish at night because in case you guys aren't familiar bass and bluegills do a lot of their feeding at night all right so let's take a look at our light setup this is it it's weighted there on the bottom and we're actually going to hook it up to a 12 volt battery here outside of the tank just to see how bright it is it's pretty bright <laughs> so now let's cut the lights off i'll just give you an idea it's pretty bright it's, i'd say it's probably going to light up most of the tank i would have probably preferred it to be a little a little less bright but we're going to try it out all right, so I got the green light laid down behind our big piece of dragonstone, kind of back behind that plant there, and I want to kind of damper the light a little bit because I don't want it to be too bright. So we're going to cut the tank lights off now for about 30 minutes, and then we're going to cut the green light on. All right, we've had the light on about 30 minutes now. Bonnie really doesn't seem phased by it at all. It's kind of just been hanging out there by it. Sheriff Bluegill is keeping his distance a little bit over there up under the bonsai tree. And then our other pet bass... Clyde, he's sitting right there up under the stone hens getting ready to eat. So we're gonna drop we're gonna do a couple different feedings. We'll drop a few in the first time to see how they react, and then we may do a bunch at the end. Alright, Liz is gonna go in with about six minnows on our first try. Alright, no activity at all. All right, they're starting to get a little more aggressive. All right, Sheriff was the first one to attack. As always, he's the most aggressive. He ate the first minnow. They're a little bit shy. All right, and Second one Sheriff got. I noticed that if the minnows get down low, you see how all the fish are hugging the bottom? All three of them are on the bottom. It, if they move off the top up there and they get down low, they feel much more comfortable and they eat it. So one thing I'm learning here is bottom baits like jigs and things like that maybe what you need to fish with at night if the top water is not on. All right, so right now, the minnows that are up left are up at the top and everything's been kind of stagnant. We're going to put some more minnows in and see if they go down on the bottom and see if the bass will actually eat anything. Bonnie just got started. The sheriff got another one. there we go now they're getting active that's one thing i love about these experiments they've been sitting in the tank with these minnows for five minutes and they've been swimming around but it's those little subtle movements by those minnows that 
force them to react and that one fluttering across the top right there got Bonnie to come up and hit at the surface and that's one thing they haven't done yet so this is so much more natural as it would be out in the wild whenever you feed them like this all right this is a look at our 55 gallon aquarium where we have two small bass Moby and McCoy Moby's always front and center and the McCoy's hanging out over here they're hungry ready to eat we've got them on a minnow diet so I only feed Moby one minnow a day because if I put more than that in there he'll try to eat them all so we drop one in let him go ahead and eat it and then we drop another one in and usually McCoy comes in and does a cleanup so Liz let's go ahead and drop one in for Moby that was fast He's got him, so let's go ahead and drop another one in from a cord. But hold on, let's make sure he sees it over here. All right. Go ahead. They each got him one. So now Moby and McCoy have got a minnow in their mouth. And they would eat more if we let them, but <laughs> for today, that's all we're letting them eat. All right, we just started a little feeding frenzy. You see Bonnie just got her one. You see all the glitter there? They just started eating them pretty good. And so Sheriff and Bonnie are working together. You see Sheriff will go up to the surface and run them down and then Bonnie eats them when they get on the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna start wrapping up this test. It was still pretty interesting. I like feeding them like this. That way you get to see how the fish react to minnows rather than just eating them out of a net. This is kind of a mixed result. Some of the fish were a little bit skittish at times. You could tell they wouldn't commit, but then Bonnie started opening up and started hitting them on the surface. And But I always enjoy trying out new stuff to learn about these fish because I fish for them so much, and I'm sure you guys would like to learn more about them. So the last part of this experiment is I'm gonna pull the night light out and turn the normal aquarium lights on and see if they go finish these minnows off like a normal feeding session. All right, we just got the lights back on, and one interesting thing is the minnows shot down to the bottom. I don't know if they're scared of the light or what, but most of them shot down on the bottom, so I don't. I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty good feeding frenzy here really soon. We definitely got some more feeding activity now with the lights on. Got the lights on, minnows swimming everywhere. Fish are everywhere, hitting all different columns, top water. <laughs> all right, folks, we're gonna start wrapping up this video, but make sure that you're subscribed to Tank Tuesday because we put out videos like this every Tuesday showing different types of feeding. We feed them different things. We set up experiments. That way we can learn and watch these fish do different things. But normally at the end of our Tank Tuesdays, we'll go over questions. But in our last video, I said if any of you subscribers were influenced by these fish in this aquarium to get an aquarium of your own, send us clips. And we got a ton of them sent in. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll some of those clips but don't worry if we don't get your video in and this Tank Tuesday we'll get it in one of the upcoming ones. All right, the first feeding clip comes from a fellow YouTuber and his channel name is Fish Your All. And this is a video of his pet bass jumping and going airborne to get a worm. And this is a photo from James C. He says in a message that I sent you some clips and I'd love for you to see the whole tank. It's 110 gallons. I have two bass, fat being slim, plus a crawfish, a sunfish, and a pleco we call sucker. This is our 55 gallon tank. 
We have our pet bluegill, Ronaldo, and our pet bass, Calvin. And we're going to feed them some Canadian night crawlers. And the last video comes from Elijah Johnson. He says, this is me and my brother's Dalton's 55-gallon fish tank. We have an 8-inch bluegill named Ronaldo and a 9-inch largemouth named Calvin. We would love to be featured on your YouTube channel. My brother and I have been longtime subscribers. Appreciate you guys sending your clips in. We'll show you more of them in next Tank Tuesday video. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. And also leave in a comment below what you would like to see in our next Tank Tuesday video. Hope you all enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. Children